Welcome back treasures. Today we are doing another unboxing of Inked Goddess Creations box. This is the May box and it is Planetary Magic. So you'll see I have not opened this yet. We are going to do this together. All the boxes come with a little card that kind of explains what all is in the box. So we will look at this afterwards. Ooh, we have a Planetary Magic sticker set. Ooh, look at all the pretty planets. This artwork is lovely. This would be great for your Book of Shadows, your Grimoire. Um, I have a plan for a journal that will be perfect for this. Okay, I have to skip. I love this tissue. Look at it with the little like confetti glitter sparklies all over them. Okay, back to the box. Other stuff in the box here. Planetary Magic Guide and Workbook created by Morgan at the Ink Goddess Creations. Oh. This guide and workbook provides you with basic information you can use to incorporate planetary magic into your own magical practice. Oh, this is great. And it tells you it has Mercury and it has Mercury retrograde. How fantastic is this? Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. I'm gonna enjoy reading this. Opening past our lovely paper here. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take that to the side. And this month's candle, there's always a candle, a little votive in the box. Um, and so the color usually goes with the theme and the smells as well. Let's see what, let's see if I can guess, what is that? Hmm, I'm not sure, but it's, it's kind of a um, dark purple color here. It's very, very pretty. Let's see what else we have. What's this? I love this bag. Look, we have little stars and moons on it. It's a gold and red. It's very pretty. It looks to be a bracelet. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. And look at this. Oh. So my guess is this represents the planets here. Um, I like the little stars at the end too. And that there's these kind of little danglies uh, that fly off. Very nice. Let's see. I'm going to have to, oh, it adjusts by just pulling it. That's fun. And then you probably just pull it again to tighten it back up, but I'm gonna have to figure that out with two hands. Very, very neat. I see the cards, we're gonna wait on those. We're gonna show you that in a minute. Ooh, and we have another little something here. We're gonna come back, what's this? What's this, what's this? Out of my way, retrograde. Inner strength, balance, clarity, and harmony. Ooh. Let's 
That is nice. Okay. Moving on. Moving on, Tina. Ooh, we have something here. It looks like lava. I'm not quite sure what it is. So, it's going to go back for now, and we're going to find that out soon. When we read the information card. And, and that's it, yes. We have the Eclectic Witch Pack for this month. I absolutely love the way these feel. I I can't explain it. <laughs> it's so satisfying to rub this card. Okay, let's see what we have. Planetary magic. Okay, planetary magic is the act of incorporating the planets and their energies into your own magical practice. Planetary magic can be worked into any spell or ritual you are doing to boost its power. Or you can work with the planets individually to tap into their own energies. Planetary magic also involves working with a planet while it is in retrograde motion. When a planet is in retrograde, it appears to be moving backward in its orbit from the perspective of Earth. Its motion is an optical illusion, but the energy associated with the planetary retrogrades is powerful and can often be chaotic, lend to blockages, and more. We have a chakras and planets, so telling you their association there. Planetary color magic, what's associated color-wise. Planetary crystal magic. Planetary Herbal Magic, Planets and Tarot, Meteor ma Magic, and oh, this is about this. Tektite is a natural glass that is formed when the meteorite hits Earth. The combination of chemical makeup of the meteorite, the soil chemical makeup, and the heat at which the meteorite enters the Earth's atmosphere determines the color and quality of tektite. Most tektite is black or brown in color with grooves, bubbles, and craters, and is very lightweight. It indeed is very lightweight. Because tektite is formed by extraterrestrial material, it is a great gemstone for otherworldly communication. It opens the third eye and crown chakras for the purpose of receiving messages. It is a high vibrational stone that cleanses the aura and aligns the upper chakras with the lower chakras. Tectonide is an amazing stone for meditation and divination, as well as getting to know your higher self and spirit guides. Fantastic. Okay. Now, let's read the cards and find out a little bit more about our contents. Planetary Magic Guide and Workbook, a useful booklet to help you learn more about planetary correspondences and retrogrades. This workbook was designed by Morgan, owner of Inked Goddess Creations. Out of My Way Retrograde Mist. A sample of our own new mist to help you through any planet's retrograde. This blend of cope, I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw this up. Cop, cop, mm. cop, aba, cop, aba. Sure, that's what we're gonna go with. Neroline, spruce, and cardamom 
can help ease stress, give you a positive outlook, and help you access your inner strength and resiliency. Well, I think we all could use a little bit. Planetary Magic Sticker Sheet, a bullet, mm, no, <laughs> a sheet for your book of shadows, bullet journal, and more to help you design planetary magic pages. Solar System Gemstone Bracelet, each planet plus the moon is represented on this cute bracelet to help you tap into the energy of the solar system. Tektite in a display case. Tektite is a natural glass formed when a meteorite hits the Earth's surface. It can help with otherworldly communication as well as opening you to messages from your higher self or spirit guides. Meteor Magic Votive Candle. A blend of bergamot and vanilla bean with a hint of fire this candle can help you connect with the energy of the cosmos. Planetary Magic Eclectic Witch Deck Expansion. Eight cards on various planetary correspondences, tectite, and meteor magic to help you explore this month's topic and more. And as always, they stick a little card in to see what next month theme is going to be. And next month is the element of fire. So if you saw the, um, I believe it was, what box was it? The February, March box, February box, is this May box? I don't even know what month we're in right now. Uh, if you saw the air box, you will know how exciting this firebox is probably going to be. So come check back out for that. I hope you enjoyed these box contents today. I unbox these once a month. So if you want to see more, than, more of that, make sure to subscribe and check back on my channel. I also do some crafts. So if you're interested in that, check out one of the links below or right here. I'll see you next time. Until then, stay magical and keep crafting.